Oh, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Magical Monday. What a cracking morning. Been a bit of a wild, uh, wild night, wild weekend uh, with the storms and uh, so forth that have uh, hit uh, this the southern part of Brisbane in particular. But right now, you wouldn't pick that. Um, yeah, the clouds are a bit heavy and it looks a bit unsettled. But um, apart from that, it's uh, quite a beautiful morning. And um, kind of brings me to, well, first I've got to start off um, just because I know that uh, uh, Pastor Greg Pratt tunes in from time to time. And uh, Greg, I'd just like to say um, that's uh, three finals in four years, mate. Uh, so uh, that's our plug to, to Richmond for the morning. But let's get back to the, the, the seriousness of life. Like I said, <coughs> the last couple of days has been fairly <coughs> unsettled in, in South Queensland and particularly um, Brisbane and last night was, and yesterday afternoon, last night was no exception and, and it was really, really hard to um, uh, hear yourself at times over the, over the strength of the rain and over the, um, and then watching the flashing of the lightning. I, I love storms, I'm a big fan, fan of storms. But what do we do with the storms that come in life? And this morning I wanted to look at um, Gideon's story. And as we know, Gideon uh, and the Israelites are under persecution from the Midianites. They, they're, they're copying a toweling uh, from this group of people who have continually um, attacked their lands to the point that, you know, they're hiding away in wine presses and so forth just so that they can get the job done without losing all of their their uh, their possessions and all of their their harvest and so Gideon's kind of hanging around doing the job and then the Lord turns up and turns his life upside down and he comes to uh, to Gideon and he says to him um, that Gideon I'm going to help you deliver the people uh, which seems a bit of a bizarre promise because Gideon comes from the smallest tribe uh, with the least amount uh, in the land that he lives in. But the Lord says to him in, in Judges 6 verse 23, It's all right. Do not be afraid. You will not die. And then Gideon does something in response to that. Gideon built an altar to the Lord and there he named it Yahweh Shalom, which means the Lord is peace. The altar remains there to this day. In response to the Lord's promise that things would be okay, Gideon's response is to build an altar. He doesn't, at this stage, ask the why and the how. At this stage, he doesn't seem to be perturbed by what the Lord is promising. But the Lord simply promises him shalom, peace. Promises him that he will be able to do the job, that peace will be among them. And so Gideon's response is to acknowledge that the Lord is indeed a peace bringer. And he names the place Yahweh Shalom. Despite all of the things that Gideon was up against, he was prepared to believe in the Lord and understand that the Lord would bring peace. Now we fast forward that from Gideon. And we fast forward that into, into Jesus' time. And again, the Israelites find themselves in turmoil, conquered, surrounded, occupied by the Romans. Life is not um, a pleasant experience for them. And it's even less so for a group of people, particularly a group of men, who are following an itinerant preacher around. A guy who has said some things that have upset a whole bunch of the hierarchy, upset the leadership of the land but has drawn all the common folks to him all the the normal folk uh, the regular folk are drawn to this man but nobody really understands what he's on about and as he leads this band of men he's trying to prepare them for what he's actually come to do Jesus has been explaining all this time in three and a half years he's been explaining to them that he must endure the cross that he will have to sacrifice his life for all of humanity and they're troubled by all this. And so Jesus turns with these words to these men. And it's found in John chapter 14. He says, I'm leaving you with a gift. Peace. 
The peace I give is a gift that the world cannot possibly give you. So don't be troubled and don't be afraid. Remember that I have told you these things. Fast forward to 2020. And the world seems far from peaceful. Things are all up in the air and round about. People are sable, governments are sabre rattling. We've got this whole virus thing going on. Everything is far from peaceful. The thing is though, the same God who spoke to Gideon, the same God who spoke to his disciples about peace is still the same God that you and I have access to today. Still the same God of peace and a peace that he brings that the world does not understand. That is the God that we need to place our trust in. That is the God that we wake up each morning and praise, praise his holy name. He is the God of peace. The Yahweh Shalom. God is peace. So if you're finding it hard to find peace in your life, turn to the God of peace. Let's pray. Father, I want to thank you for this morning. Thank you for the peacefulness and the tranquility that reminds us that you are the God of ultimate peace and that you have brought peace between heaven and earth through you, Jesus, through your sacrifice on the cross. So we thank you for that. And Lord, as this day unfolds, we don't know what may uh, confront us, but help us to remain connected to your peace and to your wisdom and to your leading is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. My friends, let me leave you with this peaceful and parting shot. Just a beautiful morning. Enjoy your day. Until we see each other again, take care and God bless.